What is up, everybody? My name is Brennan, uh, the co-host of, well, Chit Chats. Um, so today's episode, actually, I can't reach Antonio. I've been messaging him over and over again, and I just can't get a hold of him. But as the co-host, I thought I should probably still try to get a Chit Chats out on his channel, because we you know, try to do it every Friday. So I actually reached out to someone to have as a guest, and it's sadly not someone I wanted, but it was the only person I could get a hold of at the time, so... We're all, everyone, welcome our guest, Frank. Fr Frank, you can come out. Oh, can I, okay. can, I, can I come out now? Yeah, you can come out. Oh, yeah, sweet. Come on. Thanks, Brennan. Hey, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, it's me, Frank. <laughs> I'm Frank. Um, it's good to see you, Brennan. Good good to see you, too, Frank. It's It's been a while. It has been a while. I, I, I miss seeing you. I don't. So, anyways... Um, I just figured that I'd bring you on to chat today and uh, I'll just ask you a couple questions to interview you since this is your first time on here. Yeah, no, I'm and excited. And Antonio usually makes all the plans. I didn't have any. So uh, this is the best we got. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Uh, and so I don't know where Antonio went, you know, like he, he's just, uh, he's kind of yeah. disappeared. So. I'm, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he'll show up. Yeah. Hopefully I can get rid of you. Okay. Maybe. So anyways, um, so I just figured I'd just ask you a couple of questions. So last time that we saw you, um, you tried to steal my show from me, you bastard. But so anyways, uh, you decided not to after you were going to start selling blankets. I think they were called, what were they called again? Oh, Frank oh you must be talking about Frankets. Yes. 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 Uh, so how, how'd that business, how'd that business plan go for you? Did that ever go anywhere? Oh yeah. It's, it's been, it's been amazing, Brennan. I've, 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 I've expanded my brand. All across the country, uh, currently working on uh, expanding it to the entire world. But we've made so many different frankets. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I am filthy rich. Uh, you are scum to me. Um, I have so much money. Um, we've we've um, we, we've made a very variety of different frankets. Um, I'm actually sitting on one right now. I'll show you. This is a this is a one of our newer designs. It's a it's a high quality. Um, you know, like teal and gray and black kind of color, or I guess I guess this is more like 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 a like a dark like I don't know like okay aqua Frank, color? Frank, I don't know, Frank Frank uh, Frank Frank yeah, we should yeah, probably move on these aren't supposed to be that long remember we should probably we should probably move on to another question I mean yeah that's uh, if you want but, to but I'm I'm glad you I'm I'm glad that your shitty business is doing well okay anyways <laughs> uh, next question um so uh, people have actually been wondering this and I've also been wondering it too why are you Phone's going off. Sorry. Oh. Uh, why are you always wearing red? Oh, why do? Oh, why do I always wear red? Oh, you know that's that's a deep question. Well, you see, um, when I was younger, uh, I really liked Clifford the Big Red Dog. Right. Mm, yes. That's not why I started wearing red. That I just I just really wanted to talk about Clifford the Big Red Dog. I I really just resonated with his character. I felt like he was kind of like this uh like this he 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 um he was a he was a what do you what do you call that like he, he stood out in the crowd, obviously, right? He was an outcast. Was, That's the word I'm looking for. You looked and, up to him. Uh, yeah, I, I did look up to him, <laughs> literally and figuratively. <laughs> anyway, um, but frankly, <laughs> uh, I just I just really I just really enjoyed how they portrayed his character. Like I just thought I always felt like an outcast. He was an outcast, and so I just really liked Clifford the Big Red Dog. That's not why I wear red. Um, the real reason why I wear red is because. I just really like fire trucks, but yeah. Anyway, that was kind of a dumb question. I mean, like I thought that would be pretty obvious. I mean, like I'm kind of known okay, for my love okay, of fire. Next trucks, question. But, next uh, question. Yeah. Okay. Um. So how did how do you know Antonio? How did you guys meet? Oh, Antonio. You know, Antonio. He's a great guy. Kind of. I don't know. He he he's he's kind of weird sometimes. Like he actually he doesn't like me, and I don't really get why anyone wouldn't like me. I mean, I'm Frank. I wonder why. You know, I'm 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 kind of like the best character that has been on on Antonio's channel. Um, and, you know, like, I've just known him for a long time. I don't really remember how we met, but uh, we just had, like, this connection. You know? I don't think you would really know what that's like, but, um, you know, we just, we just kind of had this connection, uh, and we just really... We really enjoyed each other's company. And so he invited me in. He actually kicked out uh, his entire family and invited me in to his house... And I've been living there ever since. And again, I don't really know where he went, but uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm he, chilling. He, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Did you say he 
kicked out his entire family just to let you move in. He did. Yeah, that's very true. And and you're you're sure you have no idea where he went? I have no no idea. No, it's pretty you, much you, just me. You live with him, suppose supposedly, I do. and you have no idea where he went. No, yeah, I, I he just one day he I just woke up and he wasn't in the house and I just I just didn't question it. I just I I, I just figured he he you know he knew where he was and that's all that matters. You know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, I guess back on track to some uh, basic questions. Um, so one of the most popular things in the community right now is social media, of course. Mm-hmm. And right now, one of the big ones is the app TikTok. Ah, yes. What are you? What are your thoughts on TikTok? Well, it's you know, it's actually it's actually an interesting story. Um, I am actually very closely related to the creator of TikTok. Yeah, eventually. Uh, back in back back in my early days, you know, I actually um. I actually worked very heavily with him, and we were actually going to make an app uh, called Frank Talk. Um, you know, same basic premise as TikTok, uh, but it was just like pretty much every uh, filter or e- emotion, emo, what do, what do you call them? Emo- emoji, yeah, what was uh, a depiction of me. And I just really thought it fit the brand. I thought it really would Sounds resonate terrible. with people. Um, what was that? Uh, nothing. It's, it's, that sounded like a great idea. That sounded oh. like it was cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, you know, I just uh, yeah, we it was going to be called Frank Talk, and you know, I don't. I, I think at, at one point he just kind of he just kind of disappeared, and, and I I never really knew what happened to him. Um, just like Antonio, huh? Yeah, I don't really know. And then one day, uh, this just this app called TikTok came out, and I was just like, wow, that's really similar to uh to Frank Talk. So you know, it's 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 a shame that that Frank talk was never really fully realized, but I have faith that one day my company, my very, very successful company can one day rise up and become the Frank talk enterprise that we've always dreamed of. You know, I guess that yes, doesn't really that's, answer. Because that's just what you need. More popularity. That doesn't really anyway, answer next the question. question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Um, so we haven't seen you on Antonio's channel for quite a while, which is kind of suspicious as concerned the fact that you supposedly live with him. Um, so is there any upcoming projects or things that you can give us hints for, for new videos coming out with you involved? Mm-hmm. I see. I yeah. Well, wasn't. um, this is actually a good time to bring something up. Uh, I'm actually going to be on every video from now on because I'm actually taking over the Tony verse channel. And, you know, nice. I actually... I uploaded a video, uh, I believe, um, the day that this video is going to go up, uh, April 1st. Kind of a weird day for this to go up, but, you know. Um, but I actually released a video on Antonio's channel um, talking about it. But, um, yeah, I'm actually going to be uh, the main host of every video on Tonyverse. And, you know, I've actually been uh, in the process of working on an Ask Frank episode that's going to be coming out and that's going to be fun um i've uh been working on a lot more uh, like maybe a frank gaming channel actually because i know a lot of people want to see me do gaming and i thought that would be fun and uh I, last thing last thing i've been working on actually making a new holiday and uh that's going to be really fun i uh you know i actually a new, uh, did you say you, you're making a new holiday i am i am making a new holiday you know how much you know how much you have to do to make a new holiday uh, not that much. I I know people, you know. I know people in, on the inside. Maybe it takes uh, a little, a, a lot for you, Brennan, but for me, Frank, I'm Frank. Frankly, it just doesn't take as much. Why and why would it not take as much for you? Why why do why do you think that you're have the ability to do it when nobody else does? No one even knows who you are. You're a you're 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 just a single actor on a YouTube channel. That doesn't even have over like 300 subscribers. How are you gonna make a holiday? It just it just helps to know people. And Brennan, may I remind you, I'm Frank. So that's all the explanation you really need. Okay, next question. I just got to get this shit over with. Okay. Um. So, if you what's like what's some hobbies for you? Like what what do you do on a normal daily basis? What 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 do you do for fun mm. other than be annoying? Interesting. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I had a voice. In my, I had a crick in my throat. Sorry. Continue. Well, uh, you already know about a couple of my hobbies. I uh, you know I'm very rich and successful. So I guess I don't know if you could call that a hobby, but um, something that I partake in is just having money. I guess. 
uh, making frankets. You know, well, I don't make the frankets. Uh, I have a team that makes them for me because I'm rich. Uh, if if you don't, if you didn't, uh, if you forgot about that. But I guess I guess uh, one one big hobby that uh that I that I'm pretty well known for is uh is collecting um collecting copies of uh the Adventure of Public Speaking, a um a textbook uh about public speaking. Um, Why? Well, this is actually the only one I have right now, but uh, I'm I'm, I'm currently. It... What what was that? Isn't that like an easy to get like public book? If it's so easy to get, why do you only have one of them? Uh, I think it's more about the value of this one book than uh the the amount. You know, I I'd like to think so. Um, but yeah, no, I'm working on this collection. I'm really proud of it. Um, I'm hoping to expand this collection. Maybe maybe find a hardback cover of this. Uh, maybe find one with a different design on the cover, but overall, the, it's the, the exact same book every time. Um, you know, Brennan, why did we hire? Why did we invite this guy on again? You know, um, I we had no, literally, no I, one else could come. Bobette, oh, book now, huh? That's uh, interesting. This is, sorry, I was talking to um, I was talking to one of my uh, editors. He was uh, just informing me on some information for the future. Oh, I don't care, but um, yeah. So that's um, so that's that's my hobbies. Um. You know, uh, Brennan. You know, uh, you know. Out of all the questions you've asked me, I haven't really found one that I thought was very interesting. So, um, you know, you hmm. might want. Okay, fine. You know what? You want it, You want an interesting question? I would. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you a question that I would ask Antonio. Just if you're gonna take over Tony vs. Channel, here's a question I would ask Antonio. Thank you. What are your thoughts on the 3D All Stars being removed from stores on March 31st? That's a very specific question. Uh, you must be referring to uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars. Um, yes, uh, the game that uh, came out on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah, um, you know, it's really a uh, funny thing about uh, that is uh, I am actually Mario. Like I've actually played Mario um, throughout the entire history of Mario. Um, they actually hired me back in uh, 1988 to record the lines for the very first Mario game. I think that's the, the year it came out. It's been so long. My memory's a little hazy, but um yeah, that's actually Wait, Aren't you only aren't you only like 19 years old? Oh no, I'm like gosh, I can't even remember. It's uh, you, you know, when you get to a certain age, you're like your your memory just kind of fades, you know, but uh no, I'm you definitely get to a certain age. How old are you? Uh you know, like uh like probably like fifty. Anyway, like I I don't know. So so you know when I when I was a young boy, um, I young I just boy. really I really just I had a knack for voice acting. I had a knack for voice acting as fat Italian plumbers, and so uh, I actually just uh, you know Shigeru Miyamoto found me and was just like you're the perfect um, the perfect entity to voice my character. But we can't we can't pour, we can't you know, sully the sacred name as Frank in the public. So they had me uh, take on a persona, uh, Charles Martinet, to uh, voice the character, and so he well, is... No. Okay. He is... Well, I, why did we hire this guy? Seriously. Um, like, this is not... You know? And, okay, uh, get out. Get out. You're fired. And I've been, you know, I've, I've just been voicing the character ever since, and actually that's, that's actually also part of the reason why I wear red, is because I'm secretly Mario. Because you're secretly Mario, and you're I'm also secretly, secretly Mario, uh, driving me right. insane, and never want to do the show again. Okay, um, well, we should probably start wrapping up things. So, a couple, just a couple more questions. Um, so, uh, where is Antonio? Where is who? Where is Antonio? Antonio. Am I where supposed is he to Frank? know? Am I supposed to know who that is? Frank, where is Antonio? Well. You know, to be frank, Brennan, um, I am Frank, but uh, yeah, I, I I don't really know who that is. I this is not the, this is not the fucking time, Frank. Where is Antonio? I know you did something with him. Antonio would not just kick his whole family out of his house. Who said to that? Let you move in. You did on this recording. Can you tell me an exact time that I said that? Because I don't recall. I've been I, the leader of Frankie Verse uh, the entire time. I don't. I don't. Frank. Frank. Frankie verse and Frankie Versal Productions. Yes. I don't. I don't know. You're I, acting like this Antonio guy is a real person, and uh, I'm a little concerned for you, Brennan. Uh, see a guy that you uh, imagined, or you a little concerned. You're not even real, Frank. You're a character on a show. Um, I 
I, you know, that's, uh, it's, uh, it's hard. I'm getting a little anxious right now. You're kind of, kind of scaring me, Brennan. I, I thought you were a little bit more, uh, you know, mentally stable. I'm scaring you. You're, you just, you're, you're acting like the person who invented you never even existed. Uh, I, you know, my mom does exist. My mom invented me and my mom does definitely exist, but I can't uh, fucking believe this. I cannot I believe just, this. You know what? I, I, you know, I, I, I don't really know why I invited you on, on this show, Brandon. You I, invited me on. I'm I, the co-host of this show. I invited you on because I couldn't find Antonio. I, my I really, editor, again, I, my editor just told me that he only reason you're even here is because they've been emailing Antonio all day. And can he I, couldn't find you. Can and I, I just fired him because we got you instead. Can I bring can I bring something up? Um what? Maybe the reason why you can't find this Antonio guy is because he just doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure I he doesn't exist. I, I don't really know why this. I invited you on Frank I Chats anyway. This. You but, didn't uh, invite me, I invited you. Uh you know, uh, I think I think we should start wrapping this up. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Frank Chats. It's been really I'm gonna fun. call nine one one. I'm calling nine one one and for, saying uh, to joining your me address. today. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Frank Chats. Bye-bye. Hi, uh, there's someone at my friend's house.